Hello everybody, welcome back to Chartist. I'm your ginger gentleman, Alan Case, saying... I'm sorry. I, I, I had an episode all ready to go this week, and then Orlando happened, and I'm just not feeling up to going negative this time around. So, instead, we're going to do a fun episode for Pride! Yes, I know we usually have a once-per-year rule on celebration videos, but... Screw it. So instead, and I need you to stay with me on this, today we're going to discuss colors. colors. Colors are nifty. They spark some of the most interesting artistry people can create and can be used to get across ideas much more quickly than any word ever could. They are spice to a dinner. And regardless of how immune one thinks they are to their effects, they've probably still got a hold on you. Supposedly, even the color a placebo has can alter its effects on the human body. And trust me, marketing execs blow through tons of money trying to figure this stuff out. I mean, I won't lie, I kinda wanna see where Nintendo takes color splash. Sure, Sticker Star was awful, but come on! Colors! And so it goes with music. You hear Yellow Submarine and you can just tell that it exudes symbolism. There are a lot of places to go with this color thing, which is why it's so odd that the last song to hit the top spot with one of the main six in its title was Black and Yellow in 2011. And if you hate that song and want a second most recent do-over, well... It's been a while. Albums do a bit better, what with your blues and your reds and your whatever Nicki Minaj is putting out with the word pink in it. But that doesn't mean we can't still discuss some songs, right? So let's celebrate all those wacky colorful records that captured the public's consciousness by making one of the most awesome rainbow-tacular playlists ever for whatever your genre happens to be. And to be clear here, I'm just talking about the main six. Roy G. Biv. The Bip. Anyway, just that group. No golds, no browns, no pinks, none of that. Just the straight satanic six. And no, black and white don't count. Those are shades. Go with the program. So first up. Ah, uh, red. The sexiest of all the colors. Straight away I said I was only going to discuss the main six, but if I were to open it up to variations, red would not just jump into the lead, it would nuke the other colors out of existence. Between your crimsons and your rubies, it's probably the most overused color of them all. And that's not even touching rose. Red is a category unto itself. Only hacks use red. It takes up a lot of our thoughts, and pretty much every emotion is tied to red. In China, red can mean happiness. In some parts of Africa, red means health. In the Western world, red means... everything. Power, lust, passion, love, anger, war. It's a potent color. So when Taylor Swift says all of her big album-inspiring emotions are red, well... It may be cliche, but it's not wrong. Popular music is rife with the color red, from bands to albums and especially songs. So if we're going to do justice to a red playlist, we need to come up with some of the most passionate, world-shattering red music ever. Got any number ones for us, Billboard? Okay, close, but um, not what we're looking for. No. Don't let me okay, never mind. So here are some red songs for you to check out at your most passionate moments. Lady in red. Lady red lights. Rock it tonight. Like red on a rose. Is orange your favorite color? Well, I'm going to go ahead and spoil things right here and now because it's going to get completely shafted for its segment. Orange is the red-headed stepchild of the rainbow. No pun intended. Constantly ignored and fed on a steady diet of watered-down gruel and broken dreams. 
all right fine maybe that's a little negative orange doesn't have nothing but it's definitely a lesser noticed color of the rainbow and truth be told it would probably have even less if it weren't for the fruit which is by the way where the color gets its name not the other way around it's a bright loud color perfect for traffic cones and black boxes and religion oddly enough outside of that it's generally seen as an upbeat and even silly color although in fairness i dare you to tell that to a bengal tiger this is probably why music doesn't use it that much. Somebody said it's because the word orange doesn't rhyme with anything, but I can think of a ton of purple songs and purple doesn't rhyme with anything either. Didn't you read Sideways Stories from Wayside School? But regardless, here are a couple of sweet orangey tracks for when you're feeling in the mood to be a little unserious. If you are looking for a little bit of amber to entertain you, might I suggest... I know what you're thinking, yellow means cowardice, right? No. Yellow means many things, such as joy, wisdom, and even forgiveness, but there is practically nowhere that it means fear. Except for the US, and I think that has something to do with racism, I can't quite tell. Yellow is the visual equivalent of your annoying coworker who always comes in with a bright, can-do attitude at 6.45 a.m. sharp like the tool they are. At least that's how Westerners see it, in the Far East it has a better reputation. Well, one thing everyone can agree on is that it's mostly related to warmth and happiness. Have you ever wondered why yellow is the color of those ribbons or the suckiest Captain Planet power? That's part of why. It is a happy, bright color that's full of love and companionship. So if you don't like yellow, I sympathize, but at the end of the day, it's hard to stay mad at daffodils, bananas, and the sun, you know? And while these not great chart toppers are certainly happy, I think we can do a little bit better than that. So if you're looking for some yellow songs to listen to when you're just happy to be alive, see if you can find some peace with... Green is above all else an artistic color. It's used as shorthand for all sorts of things like nature and magic and sexuality. Of course, outside of that, if green is associated with anything, it's green jealousy. Why is that? Well, A, it has nothing to do with money, and B, I have no idea. It may have something to do with envy being a kind of sickness, but mostly it's because Shakespeare. But other than that, green is very calming and chill. It's the safe word of colors. And whereas warm colors can mean immediate things like sun and fire and stuff, green means more like fairies and dragons and magical woods. Which is exactly why most green songs sound like Renaissance Fair trim. Speaking of which, by the way, in Victorian England, green was supposedly associated with gays, and the popular song Green Door is alleged to be about lesbians. I can't verify either of those things. But moving back to music, let's see if we can find something a little more down to earth than these. Yes, we're getting your favorite color, sit down. Statistically speaking, everyone's favorite color is blue. Our art is blue. Our lights are blue. Our cops are blue. Industry wars have cropped up over blue. 50 Cent straight up owns a shade of blue. We can't even eat blue and we love blue. Where other animals see death, we see pretty. Cause we are just that dense. It's a very beloved color. It tends to produce smoother emotions. 
quiet sophistication or sad contemplation. And supposedly, Glasgow even got its rate of violence down by putting up blue lights. Glasgow! Blue is just better. Blue is money. So where does the sad connotation come from? Possibly the term blue devil, but don't quote me on that. Either way, the color blue is something special. Our highest skies are blue, our deepest oceans are blue. It's cathartic. So whereas other songs would be like apples are red and grass is green, blue tends to be more abstract. If a song is all like blue eyes, well, yes, your eyes can be blue, but it's meant to be more of an emotional phrase. Wouldn't you know it, songwriters notice too, because there are a lot of blue songs. So what can you chill out with if you want to beat out that stuff? Well... Blue smoke climbing up the mountain Step on my blue suede shoe Ah yes, purple. The color of royalty. And eggplants. Which have become really popular for some reason? I, I don't get it. Anyway, purple. Purple is most commonly associated with being awesome. When you're wounded in battle, you don't get a yellow heart or a blue heart. You get a purple heart, because purple is a straight up beast, and I will hear no word against it. Purple doesn't care what you think. It doesn't need to be on your stupid road signs, because it's off partying with the queen. Purple is a color secure enough in itself that it can be in garbage like this and still roll off of it like the chillest hue out there. Why? Because it can. Purple. Better than you. So check out these songs and just pray that they make you cooler. Let's finish this off with the rainbows. Now you might be wondering to yourself, why a rainbow flag? Well, the story is that an ex-soldier created it at Harvey Milk's request and that it had eight stripes and then one thing led to another and it had six stripes and also rainbows are just kind of cool. Also, if you're aware of history, you'll know that gays created like a thousand different colors. They can do what they want with the rainbow. So with that said, I probably have like a thousand rainbow songs, right? No. No, I, I only have one. For there is only one true rainbow song. You know the one. The obvious one. The movie one. Someday we'll find it. The rainbow connection. The lovers. The dreamers. And me. So there you go. I hope your playlist is a little more colorful now. Whatever your genre happens to be. And now on a more serious note. Remember everybody. It is okay to be who you are. Don't ever let anybody take that away from you. So with that, this has been Chartist with your ginger gentleman, Alan Case, saying good night and happy pride.